Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys a really awesome NAN workflow that is really focused on the real estate industry, whether you're a real estate agent or an investor. Essentially, what we're gonna be doing is taking in leads that could be through a forum or a webhook or whatever other way you want to. Uh, then we're gonna take those leads and we're gonna query an external database to get even more information about these leads. Uh, this video is gonna be in collaboration with Trust Scout, who has a lot of data about homeowners online. So we're gonna use that database. After we go into that database and grab some information, what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a script with the help of an AI agent. We're gonna send that script then off to HeyGen. If you're not familiar with HeyGen, essentially it makes an AI avatar. There's a lot of default ones online, or you could also use your own image on that side of things, which I think is really, really powerful. After HeyGen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this information one more time to another AI agent. Uh, it's gonna take the video, it's gonna take everything that we know about this potential lead and then draft an email for us to send out uh, and create this as an HTML embed into the email. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out this email to our potential lead. So while this is real estate focused, if you are in other industries and you do some sort of lead generation, I think this is an amazing workflow uh, to get used to because uh, this can be applied in a wide variety of industries. Obviously, uh, I'm partnering with Trust Scout and they are focused on a real estate database, but you can think of scraping you know, Google Maps or scraping LinkedIn or whatever else and building this type of style template out there. And lastly, before you jump into this workflow, if you guys need any help with any data needs or anything with AI and automation, I am taking on freelance customers. You can find my contact information down below in the description. All right, let's uh, start this build. All right, guys, so here's gonna be the workflow that we're gonna be walking through. Now, full transparency, I was given this workflow, um, but I am gonna just explain how everything works on the side of things, because I do think it's a really awesome workflow. Um, I did make some small modifications, like a limit node over here, just so that way we could go through this as well. And then I also um, put my own email down over here, just to show you, for example, how we get this final uh, email. Um, rather than, you know, what we have in our initial form. But, you know, how we want to start this off, you know, there's really two ways that you could start this off. You could have a form submission and you could populate this form on your website. I, I do plan on making a video just talking in depth about this form submission, um, but you want to get information for your lead, right? So what we're going to do is grab information like your first name, middle name, last name, right? And then the address of the lead, the homeowner, right? state, county, et cetera, zip code. And then um, again, if you have like a webhook, right, you can grab the data and put it in all over here in any end. Then, all right, and then what we're gonna do is take that information, we're gonna go and make a post request into the Trust Scout API. Um, so make sure post, then grab this URL right over here. Authentication, none. Uh, we're gonna send headers and specify this, and this is where you're gonna put in your API key value. And then down below, we're gonna send over JSON and we're gonna send in as much info, information as possible, right? So we're gonna add in first, middle, last name, address, city, state, county, zip, exact match. I'm gonna set this over here to false, um, level, phone, as well as email. Uh, that's gonna go in over here and then we're gonna get our output associated with it, right? I have all this data uh, now that we're grabbing specifically from the API, right? So what's really nice is we have over here, matched first name, middle name, last name, the address associated with someone, the state, the age, the match score, like if it was a good match or not, their possible email, right? The confidence, oops, let me go back over here. The confidence of the email, right? And you can see if there's multiple emails on that side of things like email two, uh, email three. So you have multiple opportunities to reach out to someone on that side of things multiple phone numbers, right? Gender, where they're at, um, their homeowner or not, married, veteran, occupation, um, children, what's their income level on that side of things, right? Um, you can get all that info. Now, I will say that there's a lot more info that you could actually grab um, from Triscout as well. So like, they have a full data dictionary on this side of things. So you can see like, no way I can cover this all in one video. Right, but you can see like there is well over 500 different rows full of information, right? 
So you can really dive into this and build out something really awesome. If you want to go through all the nuances on this side of things, right? Um, but they have a data dictionary, which is really, really helpful. And just to show you some more sample data, right? So because any end kind of truncates it a bit, right? You get all this over here. So so wealth, property owner, property type associated with it. When was it built? Acres, square feet, bedroom. You got to think like if you're in real estate, this is a ton of great information to get started with. Uh, one of my customers is in the real estate. Now it's wholesale real estate. Um, but I think even things like this is pretty powerful. You can see buyer score, seller score also associated with those. And I'm sure there's documentation explaining how this works, uh, some sort of algorithm associated with it. So again, this is just a, a sample grid on this side of things, but that is going to be available through that API. All right, let's jump into the next side of it. All I'm doing it, and this shouldn't be in your flow. Um, just on my side of things, I'm going to limit the cost. So I'm just going to only send one item forward. And then what we're going to do is go into our agent, which is going to create a prompt, um, just add in a large language model, just using GPT-5 mini over here. And then what we're going to do is define both a system uh, message as well as our prompt. So the system message is very thorough. So you're an expert video script agent generating short professional selfie style scripts for a hey Gen API. Uh, talks about this over here, right? Task, write a first touch outreach script for Sam, a real estate agent who works with Maria at Compass. Again, like change this stuff up. Um, if you want to have your agent name, right? Not be Sam, change that up. Someone else, right? Company, things like that. This, I like this. The script must be credible, approachable, and tailored. Every script must illustrate three potential discussion paths so the lead sees themselves in the example, understands it's coming, it's valuable, right? So this is a dynamic data that we're passing in over here, right? All we want to do is like pass this in on that side of things. So we have all this in over here on that side of things. And it is core principles, right? Greeting, always start with the leads. First name, if available, example, hey, this is Sam, right? Uh, language, deliver full script in language if provided otherwise default to English, right? Personalization, use ownership type property in the city context to frame the first client scenarios, right? And again, more and more social proof of via three discussion paths. Every script should mention three reasons the client liked this lead, you, us, right? And it mentions this, reasons to connect, explicitly show that the client benefits by gleaning clarity, right? Length, keep the script under 15 seconds, 55 to 70 words. Structure, greeting intro, like this is very in depth on that side of things, right? And then we go into the prompt slide and here's the information and jump this up. Here's the information we've looked up on this lead. It gives all the info, right? Generate the script following the system message rules. And you can see all this is populated in over here, right? First name, last name, city, state. And this is grabbed again from the Scout database, right? Uh, we use the API to query their database, all the information that they've done a lot of research on. And then uh, we're sending it into this agent, which is gonna create our message. And you can see over here, Hey Drew, Sam here at Compass. Many San Francisco condo renters explore buying to lock equity. Others with strong incomes use condos as low maintenance city bases or rentals, or some want a clear timing and pricing for a next move. You'll gain clarity, find opportunities, and avoid costly mistakes. I've included a link below to my calendar. Let's book a quick 15 minutes this week, right? Awesome. Okay. So now I know we have the script. And what we want to do is generate an AI avatar. Now, what's really cool is within HeyGen, they have a uh, default uh, AI avatars, or you can actually make your own. And this is something I'm going to be covering in another video, really going in depth on HeyGen. Now, I'm not going to make my own in this video. I'm going to make it in that uh, second video for you guys, which will also be out uh, within a week or so. Uh, but anyways, what you want to do is set up HeyGen and just to show you the website, over here as well, right? So on HeyGen, you have different avatars that you can select. Um, there's tons and tons, right? So if you go over here, you can set something from professional, lifestyle, UGC, community favorites, right? And there's a lot of options, like even changing, you know, what color um, shirt someone's wearing or anything like that, different types of backgrounds. Like it's, it's really, really awesome on the side of things, right? 
Um, and if you want to see all these directly in any end, what you can do is use this over here, which is get avatars. Um, so use a get request API head agent V2 avatars, and you're going to set up your credentials. So and over here, right, what we want to do is set up a header auth uh, credential. And what we're going to do is name it X API key and add in our API key from Hagen. Hey um, the way we do that is that you just go over here and get your API, right? So uh, you just go to your account, you go to settings, I believe it's under here. Then you go to subscriptions and API, right? Then you get your API key over here, right? Hagen hey API. I know I have 9.5 credits for the left. I'm using a free account. Obviously, as you send these out, you're going to want to have an upgraded account. This is just a demo. And then just get your API key over here, right? Okay. So just to go back as well to show you guys um, beyond the avatars, right? There's a lot of different voices that you could use as well. So feel free to find a voice that you like. Like there's tons. Um, so play them, see if it sounds good. Um, if it matches up also with the avatar that you specifically want on that side of things. And you can also integrate third-party voice if you want to over there too. Okay, so that's kind of HeyGen, right? Uh, just make sure I accept application JSON over here. And that's for the get avatars. Um, but we want to generate our video, right? So we're going to use the URL video slash generate. Again, we're going to set up our credentials to show you. And then uh, what we're going to do is paste in this body over here. So video inputs, so you say type, you can grab your avatar ID. Um, again, you can go through the API or you can go through the node, which I showed you and I did that. Um, or you can just go over here and grab an avatar. So like, feel free to just grab something over here. It's so, like, I didn't look at any of these and I just grabbed something at random and Bruce Public ended up being this Bruce guy over here. Um, so that's what ended up being sent. And then I just grabbed a voice ID really without listening. Um, just went over here, grabbed one of those IDs, pasted it in over here. Uh, the input text is what we just developed, right? So this text over here, we put that as the input. You can change the speed if you want. You can change the dimensions if you want. I just kept this uh, default over here, but that's kind of how you can change that up. And again, you can make your own avatar as well. If you go over to avatars, right? You can see over here, digital twin, use a single video to create an avatar that moves and acts just like you, or you can do a photo avatar, right? It says bring a photo life with natural motion, no video footage needed. So again, you have both those options on that side of things, right? I just went with the default public avatar, but it really depends on your outreach approach. And personally, I'd probably recommend doing your own avatar on that side of things too. But again, future video, just to cover that, I'm just going through this pretty fast. All right, then we want to wait because it's going to take some time to get that video. So um, put in a wait amount, you know, by default, this is at five. Maybe it's a little bit better to put into 20 seconds. And then what we're going to do is now get the video. So you have to generate the video, you have to wait, and then you have to get the video. So all you do is video status dot get over here. Uh, we pass in our video ID from before over here, right? Uh, so you can see that it's populated over here on that side of things. Again, we have to have our API credential, and then it'll have all this information on this side of things, right? So the video URL uh, status, which we care about. So the next one is gonna be an if node. So if the status is not completed, we're gonna go through and loop it. So we're gonna go wait another 20 seconds, come back through and see if that video is ready, right? And then if it gets ready, what we're gonna do is go back into OpenAI. Um, once again, and again, you don't, you could use an AI agent here. You don't necessarily need open AI. Um, but we're going to do now is the next side of it. So prospect information, we have the name, you use title case, email address over here, right? Thumbnail URL video link over here, role, and that's going to be the user role. And here's the prompt. So it says, you're an email agent for scout. Your job is to craft an impactful email based on the information you received from a form submission and to pass along the short intro video along with the email. The goal of the email is to ask the prospect to book a time with you on and put your calendar on the side of things. Again, I grabbed this initially um, from Scout. So they built this out. That was the calendar link over here. I'll probably just blur it for the video. Um, you will also receive the video link and thumbnail to embed in the user input. Please embed the video link onto the thumbnail instead of showing the entire long URL. Output is HTML, so the thumbnail and video format is correct. Only output the body of the email to the next node, as the next node is the Gmail node, right? So 
again, kind of telling you what's going on on that side of things. Here's everything we want and this prompt as well. Um, so this is our system message, right? This is our user message. Uh, it generates this over here as well. You can see this div style. So this is ready for our email. Then what we're gonna do is send the email. So what we're gonna do is grab the prospect's email. Now I just put in one of my email addresses over here. Again, it's gonna be blurred on the screen. And then I just pasted in uh, the content. So just dragged and dropped it over there. And then the subject, right? Uh, maybe you wanna, you could use an AI agent to write a pretty catchy subject if you do some research on that side of things. Or if you have subjects you wanna start split testing, um, it doesn't really matter, right? Like. Oh, I mean, it does matter because your subject will get someone to click on the email, but um, we put your subject there. Email type is HTML. And again, we generated that HTML and then uh, just send it out. And just to show you what this looks like, just to show you what it looks like, right? So now what we have is this, and if you click it open, right, it'll turn into a video. So let me show you that. And then you can see, hey, Drew, I recorded a short intro show you Scott can help. Uh, click the image to watch. If you'd like to chat after the video, pick a time. And this is the county link, right? over here. Thanks. And it says this email is sent automatically by NAN just to show you how to stop that. If you go over here, right, if you go properties, append any and attribution to just turn that off if you don't want that over here. And, and then I'm not going to have this on for echo purposes, but uh, you can see it's talking and everything like that. So um, that is essentially the workflow. Really, really awesome. And it really should be able to get you uh, some more customers on that side of things. So Again, just to kind of reiterate how everything works, right, from a high level, what we do first is go through, we start off the workflow, whether it's a form, a form submission or a webhook, then what we're going to do is go into the Scout database with uh, this HTTP request, right? We want to grab information based off of the leads that we have over here in this form. And I'll go through the database and find that. Um, I just set this limit node so you don't need to worry about it. Then what we're going to do is generate the prompt based off of the information here in that database and just a little bit of contextual information that we're going to be creating an AI video. Then what we're going to do is start generating the video, right? We already have the draft over here on the side of things. Um, you're going to set your avatar. You're going to set the vocal style that you specifically want. Again, you can make this yourself if you want. Then we're going to wait just because it's going to take a little bit to generate that video. Uh, then we're going to build out that video over here with this get. Um, if the video is not ready, right, we're going to just loop around one more time and see if it's ready. If it's still not ready, one more loop around. Uh, it'll just constantly loop until this video is ready for you. Then we're going to go over here and prompt one more time. We're going to get the format ready for our email to send out, right? Uh, we're going to put this in HTML body. Um, of the email and this just generates the style that we specifically want and then finally what we do is we send that email by passing in that so a really amazing workflow so even if you're not in real estate and you're watching this like this should give you a lot of ideas right what we've done for lead in some sort of capacity we do our research we write a script right we generate a video automatically we get everything ready for that email and then we send the email it's an amazing workflow and uh, again, shout out to Trust Scout. They sent me this over. And, uh, you know, here's a video in collaboration with them as well. So thanks, guys, for checking out this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're uploading a lot of different videos every single week about AI, NAN, uh, data analytics, data science, stuff like that. Our NAN playlist has well over 40 videos. Uh, the goal is to constantly expand that one out. So, all right, I'll catch you in another video.